Welcome back. Hello. Um, oh. 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 You know, just ki kill the beluga whale. <laughs> Let's just kill it. Thank you. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this quick clean and, and buy the books, and mm. we're gonna be done with it. And I'm gonna try not to deconstruct American society while I do it. Right. Um, because that's distracting, and I got shit on. But despite the fact that you're somewhat, uh. Honestly, uh, sort of distraught by this way of thinking, you find that this game is a good description of it, and therefore has some utility in a way of learning how to how to live life. Is that is that would that be true? I can't believe I fucked that up. Oh, that's too bad. Um, I would say that. Oh no. This is this is some place I, uh, I, I no. can give no help. No. Um I would say that um <laughs> hey. Come on, I need don't don't throw away your lives. No, 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 no. no. I, you're you're, you're you got this. You've got this. You got this. Yes, I do have this. Oh. All right. Thank Christ for that relief. Anyway, um I'll take your burgers. Yay. Your so anyway, right like the thing about capitalism is that it's the logic of it operates on video game logic. Right. You know, and um, encouraging cooperation is a part of that. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't you you you, you didn't build rugged that. Rugged well, rugged individualism aside, it's generally acknowledged in the temples of capitalism that you have to build, you have to do team building in order to succeed, right? Um, so, in a, in a, in a system I, like I, this, I die. yeah, no, <laughs> I've done, I've done a piss poor job of team building in this instance, but, um, it's still, in, I mean, it's still incumbent upon, uh, upon the manager, mm -hmm. and I, I would say, you know, you may not be, you're my duck, you, you are the fool to my leer, the, the duckling to my mama duck, but really what you are is the, inter is the intern to my, well, I'm not paying you. <laughs> that is true, uh, <laughs> I can't, can't even be called that. <laughs> as the intern, uh, in this instance, mm -hmm. to my, um, Apprentice. corporate overlord, well, I, I think that it's only for, like, a very... <laughs> Think fast. Oh, Nick. I died for you. You did. I couldn't have asked anything better for my intern than to <laughs> sacrifice yourself. I to am a pawn to your save, king. To save me about 45 seconds. <gasps> um, that was pathetic. <laughs> oh, dear. You know, it's... it's well, have it, fun. It is what it is. <laughs> I will, thank Have you. fun, boss. <laughs> but, you know, so maybe it's not my parenting style that's an issue here, it's my managerial style vis-a-vis -vis you. Oh, but in capitalism, aren't they, are they not the same? Exactly. Dad is the CEO of the family. Um, you know, and I don't want to sound glib. <laughs> Too late for that. But, um... <laughs> yes. Uh, How gauche. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking about that. I in in the last episode of Trucks, like I used I used the word uh, I used the word mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. I said hoist by my own petard. I said, uh, God, that I, that one I'm not familiar with. What mea culpa? No, uh, hoist by my own petard. It's Shakespearean. I'm pretty sure. I'm not familiar with it. Uh, it means you fell into your own trap. I learned it from Rocky and Bullwinkle. Um, <laughs> yes. That great um, cultural institution, or <laughs> Rocky and Bullwinkle, which I, I know you believe very deeply. In, I so. learned I learned so many words from Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> so I'm, I mean, I, it was just not it was not of my repertoire. We find our heroes dashing to the scene of the crime. Rocky, why are we dashing thusly? <laughs> Rocky, why are we dashing thusly? Because the criminals always return to the scene of the crime. I hate to shake your childlike faith, Rock, but we are not the criminals. <laughs> And whilst, good. And, and whilst our heroes engage in airy persiflage, 
I, yeah, no, it's, right? it's brilliant. No, you, you're right. You're Jesus right. Christ. No, you, 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 you've made your point. Yeah, you, you've, you've tricked me into sincerity. That's the problem. Um, <laughs> I would, I would, oh, what a trick it was. I would defend Rocky. Well, bringing up Rocky and Bullwinkle, I have to be sincere when Rocky and Bullwinkle gets on the table. No, I know. I know. Um, it's like me and Looney Tunes. I, yeah, I, know, I know. Or I know. Law and Order. <laughs> You know that the place where our first one went bad was that I was making fun of you for bringing up Boston Legal. Okay, well, look, Law and Order, everyone will know, Boston Legal has a tarnished reputation, <laughs> and I believe that it is it is it is proof positive that a bad title can ruin anything, anything. Uh, it's unbelievable that you knew nothing about that show. Gent- gentle, gentle hearts, are you hearing the genuine anguish? I am experience? anguished. It's it's such a terrific show, and no one understands. I'm Everyone who's I've ever tried to introduce it to who has not known you know anything about it, and that's most people, find that- it absolutely ridiculous that I would have any affection for this show. And it, it's so great. It, You'd love it so much. It has the same so kind sad. of like cadence as, as like Grey's Anatomy, you know. I'm imagining, Grey's Anatomy is repulsive. I'm this show is Grey's is, Anatomy is, in, in, in law. is majestic. Majestic. Sorry, I don't feel that strong about it. But I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I will say that it is it is simply like the, the, from what I understand, the only reason why you find it amusing yeah. is that it has a bad title. Yes. What 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 what's that about? Like who? <laughs> it's how how? Look, are you are you prepared to be the sad clown or are you not? I am being well, I'm being an angry clown. Well, yeah, I mean, yes. You're, Anger you're, is, 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 is a cousin I, of sad. It's only funny as long as it's not real. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. Okay, all right. But it's, I, it's only funny as long as it's not petulant. Uh, it's only I'm funny to make it... as, long as, as long as I don't feel bad. Oh. So if you're going to make me feel bad, then it's not oh, funny. Oh, I see. Yeah. I, I, excuse me. Right. So you you have to mediate your pain in such a way where I don't really feel it if I'm going to laugh at you properly. Oh, okay. I'll try to be uh, so less you, emotionally vulnerable. Yeah. Well, please. I mean, that's basically all that I'm asking of you. How do we get? I mean, part of part of of existing in this system is being able to sack up, right? Yes, yeah, sack up. <laughs> That's what we need to be saying to our, dis- our to our confused and disappointed white males. <laughs> sack up. That's what they haven't. That's what they haven't been told. You're before. not tracking whether I'm being sarcastic. No, but or not. but like honestly, you know, it's it's it's. Uh... <laughs> and that's one of the things I expect of you as my intern to keep track of whether I'm being sincere at any given moment. But but it's it's ambiguous in this in this particular context. I think because um, you do have genuine affection for this game, and yet I find everything about this game. I mean, fun as it is, to be. Sort of morally abhorrent, especially in the way that you describe it. <laughs> well, that's—I mean—that's the—that's the beauty of a good reading is that it can—it can, it, can, uh, it can make your faves problematic. Like, essentially, is that what you're admitting, though? Is every, that it's a problematic every, game? Every video game is capitalistic, right? I mean, yeah. well, every, every old school video game, we'll put it that way. Like, you know, you you earn points. Um, you, True. You, you beat people, True. or in this case, like animals, in order to win points. True. Um, and or you solve puzzles. You, or yeah, yeah, you know. But like, there are there are the puzzle solving. But regardless, like you, you, you know, your progress is measured in terms in in numerical terms, um, and your progress is linear. You're going straight up mm-hmm. to the mm-hmm. end. Um, and the, although the end is better defined in in this game than it is in capitalism, yes. Um, so it's not as good a metaphor for capitalism as say, you know, a, an arcade game where it keeps you know where you keep going until you hit the kill screen, which is actually what the end point of capitalism is. Um, <laughs> well, I, I think I think you're you're uh, you're 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 having trouble deciding what version of capitalism you're you're describing here. Are you describing it? I'm as it is imagined, or as as it actually is. I'm describing what Milton Friedman masturbated over. In you think he masturbated over the idea that, that the end game is death? Oh, what? No. I mean, that's just true. That, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, I, you know, like there there seems to be a um, here a jump dissonance. up and kill that guy, please. Oh, like like not just that with, with your body. 
<laughs> Come on, dude. I'm trying. There you go. <laughs> I try, I, Fuck Milton Friedman. <laughs> I tried Fuck to. him and his video game. <laughs> I was just trying to entrain your body. Thank you very much. No, I, and you no. were doing a piss poor job. I know I was. I was. Um, but was was I? Any in any case, what I'm 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 using capitalism as she is. Uh, she as she is pronounced. That's a reference to. Uh, a really great old uh, old dictionary. Um, really? Yeah, it was an old bilingual dictionary. I think Italian American called English as she is spoke, which was written, which was like translated from the French by somebody who didn't speak English. That's marvelous. Oh, it's totally worth checking out. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm speaking of I'm, I'm talking about capitalism as she is is done rather than capitalism in the abstract here. Right. Right. Um, great. Love yeah. it. The, um, but my, ah, God, what the fuck was my point? Um, my point at, <laughs> So, so rarely have one. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I'm on point. You're on point. At yes, all are. times. Um, I'm Discourse Danny. Uh, the... <laughs> Discourse Danny. I am Discourse Danny and I will not hear a word said otherwise. Um. Yes, boss. Thank you. That's part of the deal, you know. You 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 endure these little indignities in your work life, like to, to, to validate like you, so that you will reward your... me. Exactly. See, it, why isn't that a legitimate uh, strategy? Strategy in a capitalist society. You know, it is. It, it absolutely is. is. I mean, to be to be the court jester is totally a legitimate strategy. But you have to have, I think, if you're not going to be a failure, uh, some intention of twisting the knife. Eventually. I have. All your other court jesters are gone. Oh, I'm the only one left. I see. So you are you are you consider your own So the end I've conquered the market the of you. Game, the end game for you is to be my main lick spittle. Seems to be working out so my far. My Toady Prime. I oh, mean yeah. other than this making is, a living. This is only a two player game, man. <laughs> it's not like there are any other people beating down the door to be Bub or Bob. I can't remember even which one you are. There's there's a... Uh... there's a place made for all of us. We're getting we're getting a little far afield here. We are, we are. Uh, the point that I was trying to make is that uh, these games are are metaphors for the way that we live um, and teach us uh, some things about the way that we live. And, um, you know, I think that it's easier to ignore this kind of, like, the competitive nature of these games when they're single player. Yes. Because then you're only... Uh, then you're only competing with yourself. That's just VR training, right? Or, or any, you know, or, or, and it could be, you know, or if you're not, you know, going to be cynical about it, it's a spiritual practice, it's self improvement, you know, it's um, <laughs> it's meditation. Exactly, it's it's a, it's a it's a skill, and like I'm I'm not I'm not going to be the sour ball, and, and to the extent to saying that like learning a skill is inherently <laughs> negative. Sour um, ball. That's another one that I got from Rocky and Political, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, 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 you know, you have, if you had to choose one, it sounds like this was the right one for you. <laughs> that is the show to learn all of your your uh, your charm it's from. All, it's all on you, man. Um, nice, nice. The fall, but of death. it's the you know, and like there's a lot. Look at these hearts, right? This this game is supposed to be about cooperation. It's supposed to be about. Uh, it's supposed to be about friendship. It's mm -hmm. like you know the whole business here is that you learn the meaning of friendship by struggling together, and then at the end you get the girl, which you know an object. That's another yeah exactly. That's another thing. Um, but how it actually works is that oh no oh we shit lost one. We lost oh one. god oh fuck rain of death rain oh, of no. death I I want to get the potion let me get the potion before that guy hatches oh god yes hold well on. Um, oh my god, we tied. This is, this never happens, and it is so the ideal state, right? We each got the, the extra life. Mm. It was glorious. It was, it was a moment, it was just a moment, a glimpse of the way things could be different. Um, <laughs> a paradise lost. Yeah, exactly. Um, but anyway, the point is that because of the way that, because of the way that works, and because of the way, particularly as you'll see later on in the game, that you have to rely on your bub's ability not to get killed or <laughs> bub's or, or play. bub in this case is yeah, your bud. bud 
uh, or, or, or your character or your bug. Um, is ability you have to rely on that ability not to get killed because if you don't, um, you're gonna have to play, tw you know, even better than you would have had to anyway to make sure that you have a life left over at the end. Which is clearly not my strong suit, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, I think oh. I think that it leads to this kind of, you know. To this kind of uh, uh, essentializing of your friend's worth via <laughs> this particular <laughs> skill that they have, and you know, I'm I'm talking about like you know playing this as a kid. You're gonna end up in that situation where it's just like you know, one of you's gonna do it. One of you's gonna one of you's gonna be the the better one, and the other one's gonna have to deal with the frustration that comes from that, and so. But in that case, whether or not they get better or worse at it only amounts to whether or not they can survive to the point that you need them to. And that, you know, that has its own end. Because you know that not both of you are going to be able to do... Well, in, you know, in whatever case, sort of hypothetical case you're coming up with, not, both of them don't need to be equally capable. Yeah, exactly. I mean, well, there's, there's, there's only room for one CEO, right? Right, but, right. That's know, right. But as my as my underling, so yeah, and then that, but that, and that's really the thing. It's like there's no there's no point in which this game teaches you about what should be the basis of actual friendship, which is the meeting of equals, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's like, God knows that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Someone's always better than you, as my mother always said. Yes, or or someone's always. Uh, I'm always better than someone, as my life has taught me. But. Um, <laughs> Isaac's good at everything. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. <laughs> okay, so let, cards on the table. I'm a loser, and this is all, and this is all untrue. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're being honest, is, yeah, this is this is the honest playthrough. I have to cop to the fact that I am in fact a sh a, a schlub of, oh, dear. of the highest regard. But um, and as we say, as we be honest, then then the um, the forces of evil and darkness come to yeah, descend. Oh god! Us. And now we're fucking stuck in the same balloon shaft. How do you get in there? How do you get in there? Yeah. You you, you ride the oh you, you ride the that bubble train bullshit. inside. Oh, I see. Via from this side. Hello. Ah, okay. right, well, that you, was dumb. You, yeah, good job <laughs> on that on that front. That was solid, so solid dumb. Work. Yeah. Murder. Red rum. Red rum. Murder the belugas. Murder the belugas. That's what those enemies are actually called. Oh, I see you've 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 escaped. That's right. I Save could, yourself. I could, I could really use your help. I'm coming. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm care. Oh. Ah, oh. Double death. So oh, so. hey, what's up? Yeah, no, there you are. You're fine. Yeah, I am. The cautious game. I play the cautious <sighs> game. Indeed. That's the other that's another capitalism thing. You wait until the person who's more competent, you know, wears themselves out and then you get all the fruits of their labor. Though that's that's I mean, really, Nick, when we when we get right down to it, that's the archetype that you you're not the sad clown archetype, you're the grand vizier. <laughs> the, that's what grand viziers do? <laughs> They're surely most grand viziers are more competent than I. Well, I mean, I mean, surely your incompetence is but a mask. <laughs> uh, well, it's knowing how to use your your uh, your your strengths and, and deficiencies ab effectively. Absolutely, you, you oh. can you can wep I mean, weaponized buffoonishness, man. It's it's not to be underestimated. Yes, it's all just, just a decade. Just you are like Columbo. That's um, right. I'm sorry. It's, uh, just one more question. And like anybody who you know might take issue with using Boston legal as the sort of the metaphorical linchpin of this playthrough, as Nick attempted to do. Um, <laughs> I didn't. I, I had uh, genuine emotion. Columbo, I will not hear a word spoken against Columbo. No, no one can. <laughs> as as my friend who was a competitive video gamer, as as it turns out, once said, Columbo is God. <laughs> I'm quite serious about that. It's a King of Fighters <laughs> professional tournament player. Yeah, who professional said, King of Fighters player. Yes. I did, From how Canarsie. Did, how did we not... How, how did I, I, I tried to get him over here. I, I, I've, I've yet to be able to successfully invite him over. Jeez, man. You've been holding He's a, 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 now a polyamorous, you know, cube drone. We, God, we could have a fucking MLG Pro Gamer in our very house. Yes. He was the one when I, I, uh, I told... Uh, him about Josh's uh, preferences in video games. He said, "Oh, 
Master race, huh? <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> oh my god, you need to get him over I here try, now. I, kept, I wanted him to join our, our poker game, but uh, it, it, we it ended up never happening. We need to get him on the trucks. Uh, yeah, I, I, I will. I will say with all honesty, he is a bit of a gamer gator. Yeah, that's fine. What we, we need to we, I, th I think that the uh, the other the other side must be heard. The, impu <laughs> the impulse the impulse not to engage in dialogue, particularly in an in instance where you can um, ruthlessly mock the other person on your own turf, is uh, is not to be sneezed at. No, I suppose one cannot sneeze upon it. Mm -hmm. but, I mean, uh, you probably would want to keep your friend, and so thus not doing that to him would be in your best interest. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so, yes. So how, I, I would like to keep my friend. Thank you. So how can you justify being friends with scum like that? Um, that would require explanation that perhaps is not appropriate. I understand. He for this format, he saved your life. Uh, n no. He saved your dog's life. N no, we, we have, we just, we, we've known each other your for a long time, and I, and I... An intimate relationship with him at one point, and he treated her very well. Uh, no, that was another guy. Oh. But... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to bring that up. No! <laughs> no, that, uh, that actually was another guy. <laughs> who was, uh, as, uh, you, you know, ended up... Kind of growing up into a rather oh god no I know this guy that you're talking yeah 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 you, you, you know so we don't talk uh, much anymore yeah I mean I, I, that's, I you know that's I, good. I gave up that's my good. friend you, from you because, from my principles and yeah but th this uh, this other guy um, I mean Go we haven't back. spoken in a little while so you know and I only re I only realized that he was a gamer gator recently I guess I really haven't had much interaction with him since mm -hmm. I heard that but you know between you me and the wall I I um, you ready, ready to come back? I, yes, please. And I, I, I guess it's just that I, I don't want to say he's not my friend, but I can't, I can't really defend the idea that he still is because we just haven't seen each other in a long time. But I, you know, hmm. he's a, he's a character, and he's uh, he certainly provides me with. Uh, I think that a Josh lot of fun. and I could probably guarantee not being a complete shit to him. <laughs> is, this, is this something you really want me to do? Absolutely. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll see about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't guarantee anything, but you know, he's uh, yeah, he's he's a he's a cool guy. I, I I I don't I don't know you know I don't know to the extent the extent to which he is committed to it, but from what I from what I can gather, he seems he he, he seems pretty committed to that. Well, I mean, I've I've known many I've known many an otherwise sane person who, who went that way. Mm -hmm. It's just I mean, like sane in this case. Well, th I mean, this is this is the problem with not being politically aware, right? Is that oh, damn it, that would have been so sweet. If I could set them on fire with my dying corpse, that mm -hmm. would have been so great. This is one one of the reasons why this game is great is because it gives rise to situations like that. Mm -hmm. So the deal with this, if you haven't noticed, is that we need to get those uh, fire bubbles to. Uh, to the middle. Um, so that we jump. can drop fiery yes. evil. Uh, ah! I died! Well, <laughs> wow, what a horrifying death that was. Yeah, no, that was that was that was not clutch. Um, get it? There it is. There we go. Now I can death go out. shall <laughs> rain upon thee. Witness me. I div. I lie. I div again. Um. Anywho, um, yeah, so, like, <laughs> the, the, this is the problem with not having basic political awareness, right, is that, you know, something like Gamergate comes along, it's the first time you've really been politically engaged. Being politically engaged is a great feeling, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and you don't, because you haven't been politically engaged in the past, you don't recognize the allies that you're making, um, and you don't recognize the... Uh, I mean, in his case, uh, not, not to defend him, you know, un unthoughtfully or anything like that, but Oof. I think there was... Uh, I, I think there's a case of um, having very little other than video games for a long time mm -hmm. and um, not knowing how not to defend the people that you know, you've spent so much time uh, admiring and you know, like when when you have very little else, I can understand that it's uh, it would be a difficult thing not to defend. But I mean, which is the oh. excuse for all <laughs> for all I mean, these so, kinds so, of things. So here's you know, 
the, the, not the that problem. I'm going to share it, just that I can understand. It. Right. No, I get it. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to blip you back into existence so that and you're going to want to uh, kill that guy while you still have spawn protection. Yes. There we go. Oh, never mind. Yes, actually, keep going. No, too late. <laughs> now we got the we got the fire butt here somewhere. Oh. Uh, the well, Baron. The Baron has taken my life. I'll try it again. Is the Baron? Oh, can I not? No, I can't do it. Oh no! You have to sac figure this I out. I sacrificed myself to get that last one. Hmm. Well, shit. Shit indeed. I might be able to. I might be able to get myself out of this. Oh, increasingly unlikely. Son of a bitch. There we go. Don't ask. <laughs> a giant apple. Donk. Um, I would say that the other thing about this guy is that... Um, uh, he, is that he's black, and I think that he sort of takes the not my sh not your shield thing very seriously right. as well. So it, it's um, it's sort of a it's a complicated thing to to criticize, perhaps from some someone like me. Mm -hmm. So you know, yeah, I mean this is this is in danger of all becoming like far more serious than it needs to. But maybe that's where this is going to go now. Is that you know. I think that, uh, you know, there's there's a certain thing where it is it is like, you know, who your natural allies are mm -hmm. in a situation like this, you know, who are the people who you would be likely to defend right. in any other of these situations, and, um, and I understand, like, you know, if you've, if you've been part of the community for a long time, that, you know, not wanting to... You don't want to get out of that community, and certainly it would be incredibly frustrating to be tarred with a brush of privilege Yeah. in a situation like that. Um, despite the fact that clearly you do have some. Um, yeah, I can imagine. And, and, you know. It's like, you know, being a black nerd is it's got to be incredibly difficult, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but, and, you know... I don't want to go into details or anything, but you know, mm -hmm. not had an easy life, and, right? You know, so I, you know, I, I it, it's really hard for yeah. me to judge him. So, so you know, so when I said like, you know, when I said like, how can you be friends with this guy, earlier, uh, Clearly, that was meant to be taken in the same sense of whim whimsical uh, 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 psychopathy that no, yeah, of the, course, the, the of rest course, of the thing has been has been, in, but the. You know, there's there's got to be a point where it's like, you know, of course, you know, yeah, right, right. <laughs> it's like, of course, people who've had hard lives, you know, are clinging on to this shit, you know. Mm -hmm. In the <laughs> guns and religion is Obama, so yeah, you cling, so uh, aptly put it, and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so but, memorably and, said, um, and, uh, and and he's gotten hell for it, yeah, or he did. I, I guess I guess not so much hell. He won the election, yeah, but it's like. Oh, this bullshit! I, remember this. I was among the things for which he was never forgiven. Um, no, I guess they. I guess it was. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, in 2008. You know, we, we we kind of look on it with disappointment, and you know, sort of almost almost. Uh, yeah. Uh, it was, it was, uh, it was, that it was pathetic and kind of meaningless, but it was, it was actually all... an extremely important <laughs> time for this country. Yeah. <laughs> taught us a lot about what we haven't dealt with yet. Honestly, I think that was an extremely rude awakening to white America mm -hmm. that we have nowhere near dealt with the, the race issues that need to be dealt oh with. Oh my god, how did we get here? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have brought up the politics thing in the first place. But nah, it's, it's fine, dude. It's the end of this episode, regardless. Um, when we get back, I'm sure that we'll be back to... Uh, to sneering at uh, at the uh, at the way of life of millions of Americans, um, without the consequence of maybe actually knowing one of them. <laughs> Even though I, I kind of do. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, How about you? Haven't like purged yourself of all of your politically heterodox friends like I have? Not in so many words. No, and of course I haven't either. Except I kind of have now that I think of it. Let's discuss this next time on Spare Mode.